Welcome to Power Automate. Why won't you show up? Hey, I'm Eric. And um, this video actually starts with the uh, with a new ex and, and exciting functionality that came in 20.2. The ability to connect Power Automate to from any page you have in Business Central. Um, here is the the documentation availability May 16th. And uh, if we go down and look here, you know, every list cut and document page that runs in the context of a data table now features a new automate group in the action bar. From that group, users can run manual flows defined for Business Central. That's pretty cool. The only problem is that I started receiving calls from, especially actually from from object designer customers who saying that, hey, the power made thing is not showing up on the pages I have created with the object designer. Here, can't you make the uh, object designer do that? And I'm thinking, and hang on, there's no AL that controls this. And, and according to this fine documentation, no, it should show up on every list card and document page that runs in the context of a data table. So I thought, well, hang on, this is weird. So I created, just before the video started, I created a simple page here. Test list, this is clearly a list. This is clearly running on a table. Uh, and we're just showing some fields. But if we look at it in Business Central, uh, and we can see it's Shopify here, so we know that this is a uh, 20 point something. Uh, there is no automate up here, and these are customers. But if I go to, you know, if I go to customers and find it here, well, it's clearly here. Um, if I go to a customer card, more options, automate, it's here. Everything's fine. Um, so what is going on? Why is it not showing here? Um, so I reached out to, uh, to Microsoft and say, hey, hang on, what, what's going on? Customers are confused, and I got a, 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 more, a more detailed explanation. Um, first of all, so if we go back to this guy, every list cut and document. Well, it's actually list cut document list plus and worksheet, unless those pages are used as a dialogue. And what what does that mean? Well, that means that. Let's say we have the, the customer list and we have somewhere where we have a lookup to a customer. Um, so let's try that for a second. We go to a sales order, um, which has the automate thing. And now I select a customer. So here's a, a list of customers. Uh, but there's clearly no automate here because that's a dialogue. Also, if the page is embedded, meaning that either as a fact box or as line, you see there's no automate down here, then it doesn't show up. Uh, the table has to be a real table, not a temporary table, then it won't show up either. Um, and then they mentioned one other thing, that there has to be some, 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 some actions, there has to be some AL actions. So, huh. Well, that sounds interesting because we don't have any AL actions here. I found another spot. If I, I click on a, on a headline, I get a headline list. And there's no automate here either, but there's no other actions either. So the question is, what happens if we add an action here? So action, let's do an area processing action dummy. Uh, caption cat peon no cats here caption 
dummy application area all how about semicolon trigger on action begin end i don't think i can't remember if it actually would allow me to do this so that's an that's an action something in so let's deploy this and uh, deployment on cloud is typically not as fast as when i deploy on um to my docker and actually since version 20 i don't know if you guys have noticed it um so let me use the deployment time to ask very polite if you want to subscribe to the channel it's uh important in the metric of mvps uh how many subscribers I have. Uh, so if you are a, a viewer and on the channel and you like the content, consider subscribing. Your life will be better, more sunshine, even unicorns perhaps. Um, and then I lost my train of thought because I had to think about advertising the channel. No, so um, Version 20, since version 20, deploying to uh, to cloud sandboxes has taken so much longer, uh, so much much, so much more time also uploading extensions. Anyway, it looks like it's done. So now we added a dummy thing. And check this out. So we have our dummy thing. We have the Power Automated works. That's perfect. So but but uh, while this one is pointless can we get rid of it i don't think so i think but what we could do well i guess we could always say enable false and then it's just there but but it's not really usable what about what happens if we say visible equal and let's actually be clever and say visible equal x is a boolean so now it's controlled by boolean so let's deploy this again see how fast we can deploy it this time um but but you know maybe it's not that common with pages without any actions at all um the 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 pages i create with the uh, object designer in 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 some scenario you have a page if it's just a list then it's just a list but also if you have a list and card page connected so there's just the edit view delete uh, options up there still no the uh, no ale based actions are there so the automate doesn't show up uh, let's see how far this is going come on the whole world of bc please deploy my app faster um there we go haha -ha, excellent Good thing is that you guys can just fast forward until something is deployed. So there is no automate here. So we cannot cheat with with a uh, action that is not there right now. Um, so I think that the the best way, if you really have something that you, what happens? Can can we have a Enabled equal false. How do we create a as non-intrusive as possible action? How about this? Is this let's see, last time, then I gave up. It is kind of weird that there has to be a, some other action in order for this to show up. Uh, uh, I would kind of hope that Microsoft could improve that. Ah, oh, see, very fast deployment. Wow. So now we have... 
Okay, so blank, yes, you probably yelled at me and say, if there's no caption, then you get uh, the action name up here. So, so this is probably the, the least it, annoying way of doing it. If, if you really have a page without actions and you need to, um, to make sure that the automator is there. Anyway, that's how we get the, uh, the automated flow uh, action group to show up uh, when, it, when it wouldn't show up. And uh, I have to consider if I, I really want the, the object designer to create some, some fake action in order for the pages to actually do this. Or let, let, me, let me know in the comments below how you would uh how you would go about this what, what would your solution be in in case of a page with with no real actions but you want to still want this one to show up because i think it's pretty cool what it can do uh but it's kind of weird that there has to be some other al action for it to show up anyway let me know in the comments below and uh after that go check out this video it's very good and there's no power power automated in it i think I don't know if there's any other power, power automate videos on the channel. Anyway, check it out. See you there. Bye.